put the red over the question and the back again and the video we're gonna get straight to this bag you know I'm super excited about it cause we are gonna be you know what I'm saying checking out you know what I'm saying a motherfucker that you know what I'm saying hasn't featured on the channel yet man and it is the producer Alive Funk man he came out you know what I'm saying with this album I believe just like a just like a week ago or something you know what I'm saying so it is pretty recent I think it came out on the 23rd of March you know what I'm saying and the album was called Pop Up Store Volume 1 you know what I'm saying there are two tracks on this album we're gonna be checking out both of them in this video you know what I'm saying and um the first song man that we're gonna be checking out is called Tokyo but it's like two Kyo I guess you know what I'm saying it's just how I guess it's titled and it's featuring Samuel So and I don't believe I checked them out either you know what I'm saying this is the official visualizer as well that's been you know what I'm saying um put out and um I got the English subtitles as well you know what I'm saying I know it's not on the video but I've read the you know what I'm saying, English subtitles or the, I guess the lyrics you know what I'm saying before so I know what the song's kind of about you know what I'm saying so we're gonna be checking it out straight away man then we're gonna check out the second song after this as well you know what I'm saying so you're right you're right let's get it man. let's get it all right Whoa, that's cool. <laughs> the tattoo is cool, all right? Okay. Come with the vocals. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love how, how slow it starts, you know what I'm saying, very subtle, you can hear the bass guitar, you know what I'm saying, going on, it's like, it's very slow, it's very, you know what I'm saying, you can tell it's gonna like, reach a climax almost, but the way it starts, so subtle, so calm, so soothing, you know what I'm saying, and this motherfucker's vocals as well, you know what I'm saying, straight from the jump, crazy, okay. <laughs> Slow I guess the visualizer is just gonna be this motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, just going up saying alive funk, you know what I'm saying, and then in the background as well, you can see it says to Tokyo or, I mean, to Kyo Tokyo, you know what I'm saying, and all that stuff. But the lyrics is, you know what I'm saying, what kind of got me when I was reading the English lyrics, you know what I'm saying, because it talks about emptiness, it talks about, you know what I'm saying, a lot of these deep topics, but one of the things he says at the end of the first verse, I believe, which we are past it, you know what I'm saying, he talks about kind of trying to fill in the emptiness, but he ends up being more empty, you know what I'm saying, kind of like, like, like a void overriding a void, you remain hollow, trying to cover up today's sins with bigger ones tomorrow kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying, I don't know who wrote that, just came to my head, you know what I'm saying, but he's talking about like these things that, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's a universal feeling of being empty and lonely and he's trying to grapple with it, you know what I'm saying, so, anyway, anyway. I love, mm, you know what I'm saying, I love how it's composed in a sense, you know what I'm saying, or produced, I don't know what, you know, whatever word you want to use, because the way they have laid the instruments, you know what I'm saying, the way they've composed it, the way they got this motherfucker called Samuel So to sing this shit, you know what I'm saying, it, 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 it grapples with the idea of that emptiness or that, or that peacefulness or just like that, you know what I'm saying, that the that type of feeling is like felt so thoroughly through just the instrumentals, you know what I'm saying? And then you get like these little like, you know what I'm saying, things going on where he's saying at the at the background, there's like a humming thing going on as well where the person goes, mmm or something like that, you know what I'm saying? Like very, I don't know, I, anyway, anyway. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Also, 
one of the things that I realized is, you know how I told at the very beginning, I thought it was going to start slow and it was going to hit a climax. Like, I mean, it, it, the tempo does kind of like increase, but not so much, you know what I'm saying? Not exponentially in a sense where they kind of utilize or they maintain that same kind of like monotone, mono feeling throughout, you know what I'm saying? And that kind of really complements the idea of just loneliness or, or emptiness or where he talks about memories, you know what I'm saying? He can, he, um... He can, um, w w w I forget the lyrics, but something like, like, he can feel the air where the person passed by or something like that. Just like, he had very, like, profound lyrics when I was, you know what I'm saying, reading and stuff like that. And a lot to do with, like, memories and stuff. So, like, in essence, it's kind of like he's talking about how the memories grip you. And then you're left dancing with ghosts, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like, all these memories, it's sweet. But then after it leaves, you're just, with, you're just you know what I'm saying, alone, empty, you know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> I can't believe this is the bridge? Yes. 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 Wow. Hey, I I love the shit that's happening in the background, you know what I'm saying? I believe Samuel So is singing, but the, at the background, like I said, the humming, you know what I'm saying? Like, it almost feels like there's like an orchestra like a, or like a group of people singing along with them as well, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like harmonizing. It just kind of like, it, it's, it's a very holistic feeling, you know what I'm saying? I feel like whatever they wanted to convey the feeling of, of emptiness or whatever they were feeling, it's like it's conveyed so thoroughly through the instruments and the composition of the song, you know what I'm saying? So anyway. <laughs> That was funky indeed, a live funk. That was, that was funky, man. I read that towards the end. It was very Daft Punk-ish, you know what I'm saying? In a sense, that, I mean, there were, I don't know if it was a synthesizer or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But it's, it had that very electronic feel to it as well, you know what I'm saying? Which I dig. A mist, you know what I'm saying? Everything else that was going on. And also, the thing that I've realized also, it's, uh, well, I was, you know what I'm saying, reading the lyrics, uh, and then I was listening to the song. This hit me, it's like, um, I forget where I read it, but it's like ages ago, you know what I'm saying? It talks about like, how you're done with work, you come home, you know what I'm saying? You make yourself a tea, you sit on your arm, you know what I'm saying? On your, on your chair, and it's quiet, and nobody's there, you know what I'm saying? And in that moment, a person determines whether it's loneliness or freedom, you know what I'm saying? And I think that's kind of like the idea that he's grappling with, because in one of the lyrics, he says something about being empty, but that's how he realizes that he, he understands what peace is or something like that, you know what I'm saying? So it's very hand in hand. He's kind of like, it's a very confused emotion of just like emptiness and all that stuff. But it's also very peaceful at the same time. And he's grappling with this idea, you know what I'm saying? And the way he's laid it down, you know what I'm saying? Sonically, that was super dope, man. And now, you know what I'm saying? We're going to get straight into the second song of the album, you know what I'm saying? And it's called That's Okay featuring none other than my man's Don Malik, you know what I'm saying? So y'all none had to pull through, you know what I'm saying? To see what it's, you know what I'm saying? What he's gonna bring to this, you know what I'm saying? And Suvi, I believe I've heard of her before, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not quite sure. So we're gonna get to ink this man over here as well, man. I read the English subtitles and all that, so you ready? Let's get it, man. Alright. No, it's, 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 it's the same creature. He cut his hair though, and where is his um tattoo gone? The last one. Hey. Hey. Ah. Ah. Hey. Mm, man, I love the feel of it. The vibe, man. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Hey. 
시간이 지나도 여전한 건 여전해 낮과 밤이 몇 번씩 이고 바뀌었었네 24시간에 맞춰 살수 없어 매일이 다른데 똑같이 살아 대체 어떻게 준비되지 않 you know what? One thing that I realized, I've listened to Don Malik a lot, you know what I'm saying? In my, in my personal time, you know what I'm saying? I've reacted to him as well a couple of times. But one thing that I realized, like, people, I think, known him for, like, that, you know what I'm saying? Very rapidy, you know what I'm saying? The hip hop purist, like, you know what I'm saying? He, the motherfucker can rap, for sure, you know what I'm saying? But he, one thing that people, I don't think, realize, you know what I'm saying? Is that he's very versatile as well, you know what I'm saying? The different styles he does, even over here, you know what I'm saying? This is kind of like the instrumental that you, the first person you wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? The, per, the first person you would not think of is, like, you know what I'm saying? It's Don Malik, you know what I'm saying? But he fits into this instrumental and just like this feel so well. The way he's doing this melodic singing shit, you know what I'm saying? Towards the end and like, man, that guy is so versatile, man. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> Also, I just realized I'm up, I'm up, I must be stupid. But I just realized this creature, the dog, you know what I'm saying, is not just a, ra a random creature with an alive funk t shirt or a tattoo. I believe he is a live funk, you know what I'm saying? I think this is the because a live funk is, is the producer, you know what I'm saying? So he is behind, you know what I'm saying, doing all this shit, and then you know what I'm saying, we hear the featurings, you know what I'm saying? Anyway. anyway. <laughs> Man, I love the I love how the girl's voice compliments Dom Malik's verse very you know what I'm saying really well as well. I just love that it, it like that female voice or the vocals brings a different edge to the song as well, you know what I'm saying? And man, she talks about we go on, we go on something even if like um oh man I forget the lyrics, but like she says something about um go back, go back. Go back. I gotta I gotta think while I listen, you know what I'm saying? Cause I, I forget the lyrics because I've read it a couple of times before, you know what I'm saying? But anyway. Uh, yeah. Mm, I remember, I think the uh, she says like we go on, like even if there's no answer or something like that, you know what I'm saying? And Dom Malik in his first verse, I remember, you know, it's coming back now. It's like he talks about how um, how can people live, you know what I'm saying, 24 hours a day doing the same shit, same pattern, same routine, you know what I'm saying, and he's sick of it, he doesn't have the answer, but one thing, you know what I'm saying, about life, like my man's Tupac said, is that it goes on, life goes on, you know what I'm saying, so let's go! Yeah. Also, one thing about Don Malik, as I said before, is that I can hear his rhymes, and it's like he, he, there is a way he approaches the beat, you know what I'm saying, very differently to how I'm used to. I don't know what it is, but it's like very sticky, or like he rides it very like well, you know what I'm saying? The way he's just going like in and out with his rhymes is crazy as well, you know what I'm saying? And the song, sonically, it's very soulful, you know what I'm saying? It's very jazzy, that type of lo-fi feel to it, you know what I'm saying? Again, thematically, it's very consistent with the first song that we heard about, you know what I'm saying? Just peacefulness, emptiness, and all that. And this is kind of like an extension to that, you know what I'm saying, theme. Anyway. Uh, over there he talks about how he was in the how he was in the car and he was listening, you know what I'm saying? To notorious BRG, you know what I'm saying? Big guy. I said that I pull up, I'm not going to go to the car. I'm 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 going to go to the Storytelling the way Don Malik's rapping on this and then just when she comes with that vocals like 
You know what I'm saying? It's like that very... I don't even know how to describe her voice, you know what I'm saying? Very feminine, very... I don't know if it makes sense to say it's very thin, the tone of it, you know what I'm saying? But the tonal changes, I love it. Anyway. Nah, this is just straight up, you know what I'm saying? You just vibing with this. Mmm, fire, fire. Mmm, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. something about like um the accelerated pace or something you know what i'm saying and like she can't um like you know what i'm saying this fast paced world it almost seems like she's always like a step behind and stuff like that and she talks about we go on even though there's no answer we go on even when we like trickle like a stream or something you know what i'm saying because at the end of the day you know what i'm saying there will be a part of the ocean even right now you're just leaking you know what i'm saying it's part of the process so anyway man we go on for the brighter days Fire, that was heat, man. Huge shouts out, you know what I'm saying? To the motherfucker behind this, you know what I'm saying? The genius behind this, Alive Funk, man. He killed it, you know what I'm saying? Thematically, I loved it. Even lyrically, you know what I'm saying? Don Malik, Suvi, and um, Samuel So, I loved it, you know what I'm saying? I loved how just the composition of the song, the sonics of the songs, the vocals, just the overall feel, vibe, ambiance, whatever you're gonna call it, you know what I'm saying, of the song, complemented the theme and the concept very well, you know what I'm saying? Like the conceptual angle of like the whole emptiness, peacefulness, a void, you know what I'm saying? Just all these memories, you know what I'm saying? And then your left by your all that stuff, man. Just like, even when you just listen to it sonically, it's that type of feeling that it brings, you know what I'm saying? And then once it's laid out lyrically as well, it's just a full circle, you know what I'm saying? It's just it's just so holistic in the way that they've approached this, man. So shouts out to them, man. If you haven't checked out this album, go check it out, man, and show these guys love, man. But I think this is it for today, man. Keep liking, subscribe, and